Blah, blah, blah. I wasn't touching well, myself. We professionals use commercial explosives. Occasionally, blasting caps do get lost. They stray or they get stolen. They wind up in the mailboxes of our enemies. Situations like the one I'm asking you to watch. Telling right you. Then you'll understand why we pros are really concerned when explosives get into the hands of amateurs. Which is why we were forced to stop giving them out at Toys for Tots. From the Ryder. files of Police this Squad. Is blasting Company Dispatcher. Do you read me? Go ahead. This is Ryder. Uh, if only Jacko would have watched this. Possible blasting cap is confirmed. Maplewood Lane. I'm pretty sure I've seen this. They drive through the locker room next. Carlton. Notify us as to what you find. We'll do. Bad actors stand ready. Movies filming. Ah, oh, it's a good thing they got Cameron's dad's car well, back on time. Why you go in there? Fuck off, will you? I am. You can't go in there. It's too dangerous and risky. You're imagining things, Rod. That thing I found. Some kind of gadget to hook up to something. That no, thing is your mom. Yeah, but it's dangerous. Don't you remember the poster in school? Yeah, the homecoming what dance is on Friday, Friday, right? I didn't see any poster in school. You were probably absent. You remember any poster, Jeff? Yeah, the homecoming no, dance should be swell. No, it's mine. I know how to work. You can't go yeah, in there. Right. Don't you? No, but I remember what the poster said. You want your hand going off? Man, the dialogue between these kids is great. They must have studied under the great Keanu. I remember when I was a kid, we'd hear the explosives truck, we'd chase after it and buy a brick of C4 or some dynamite. He reads too much and has a crazy imagination. Where's this device you thought might be a blasting cap? It's there! This looks like a job for Ranger Dick. These sunglasses will help protect me from the blast. Stay back, fellas. Oh my god, it's a CB radio. Was that right? Yes, it's a blasting cap, an electrical one. To the super wagon. What are you gonna do? Blow this shit well, to King Kong. I'm gonna Kong. put it in this box where it can't hurt anyone if it does go off. But what about you? Oh, don't worry about me. I've been trained to handle explosives. That's why the police called me after you called them. Plus, I've got these glasses. Hey, what's going on? Well, okay, okay. My shirt is pretty gay. All right, I believe the correct procedure is to pound it with a hammer. If you build it, we will come. It's fun to stay at the Y. Macho, macho man. All right, look out, fellas, please. I think that did it. Hey, cool, just like on TV. To catch a predator. Oh, yeah. relax, son. Those are just dummy blasting caps. Dummy, like the they kid in pink. They don't have any explosive charge. We use them for uh, safety education. See, I work for a company that makes blasting caps. Hey, they look just like the ones I found, except they don't look dangerous. Well, this kid has the intelligence of Driftwood. Do me a favor and take that line from behind that television set and plug it on oh, the Oh, God, too me. close. Thank you. All set. Okay, fellas. Just keep your eye on that television screen. Now that's a baseball. Watch what a blasting cap can do to it. Good news, kids. You start juicing and you can do that with Here a bat. Some of the big and important jobs explosives have done. It's like digging the foundation for a skyscraper. That looks like a pretty small skyscraper. Explosives were needed to widen the Panama Canal. That looks like a crane to that's me, the sir. That's coolie job, enlarging the electrical production layout. And those are some of the blasting caps they used. That's a blast on the pit face of the Mesabi range. This is how we use them to blow up small this. children. I want you to see what a blasting cap could do to a human being. Ah, it looks mildly irritating. <laughs> well, imagine what it might have done if it went off in your hand. Yeah, and I almost attached that to my radio battery. Oh, so that's well, what he calls it. probably would have set it off. So might improper handling, as I told you. That's why the message on these posters 
Our industry sends Whoops, this out is a restraining order for my current touch. wife. That's what it said on the one at school. No, I remember it. But why do you need so many different kinds of blasting caps? For different kinds of blasting. Explosives are a vital tool. Explosives dug that deep foundation through New York City's solid rock. Explosives, explosives wrote the Magna Carta. For example, explosives have helped dam a river. They built that hydroelectric power generating station. They single-handedly eradicated Explosives polio. Explosives deepened a waterway between two oceans. Explosives have done hundreds of fascinating jobs. They gave birth to and our Lord Jesus Christ. Blasting caps like these are needed to make these explosives work. But no one is building a damn more canal around here. Oops, sorry, I just teleported. Over 100 million blasting caps are used every year. Oh, shit! Excuse me, they're used for all kinds of work. We use them for mining, quarries, road jobs, Public service works. Population control, you know. Now, people who work with explosives are very carefully trained. They're people like me. We try to be very precise with ourselves. And in the use of all explosives, we keep a strict count. We try not to lose them. But sometimes... We hand them out at Halloween when we run out of candy. Try. They are misplaced. How? These explosives are stolen. Sometimes they're just abandoned or tossed away. Sometimes snot nosed punks like you uh, randomly have, have them in your garage. An abandoned uh, miner's shack or prospector's shack uh, years later. Excuse me, sir, did you label your car with a label maker? And they're still dangerous. It's amazing, with 100 million in use each year, that more people like Ed don't find them. Yeah, I sure was lucky that I really didn't get hurt. Yeah, you lucky sure us. And luckier still to have a friend like this guy who had the good sense to call the police. Be sure to catch well, me on the Discovery job, Channel show, Mr. Dirty Jobs. Wait, could I have a poster? Well, sure. Here, take one. Here, fellas. Uh, excuse me, sir. Mine's a sheet asking me to renew my subscription to Playgirl. What plastic caps look like. Then if they find one, they'll be smart and remember... Stick it in their ear? Don't touch. Oh. Okay, Ryder must have been the driver, Red was the car. Who are Jeff and Ed? Alright, goodbye everyone. Remember, try not to stick blasting caps in your mouth when you find them.